I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Holy Week, this year, and last year. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, hit the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all major platforms. Sharon is caring when it comes to Higher Things content and donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on that faith to the next generation, making the gifts of Christ Jesus known to youth and young adults. We need those gifts in these dark times. Last year, last year we were robbed. Whether you thought it was real or not, whether you thought it was a big deal or, or not, we were robbed of church, not essential. Whether for fear or for love for our neighbor, we missed all of Holy Week and Easter. And some are just getting back to church today. Last year, we all watched on our TVs to watch the services. And it just wasn't the same. Not even close. It just wasn't the same. And it's not that the Word of God didn't keep us in His faith. It did. But the fellowship of believers was missing. The body and blood of Jesus absent. And it was just strange being home Easter. We may, we may have prayed to God and thanked Him, told God that we appreciate church and we will never despise it again told God that we'll never let this happen again. And we believed it, and we meant it. This year, most people have gone back to church. The churches are open again. Vaccine, everywhere. Folks are starting to get back to their normal lives. How will they handle Holy Week? Is it just another week? Did we forget last year? Is the suffering and death of Jesus, the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, going to draw us to church? Is it? This Holy Week, whenever your services are, I plead with you to remember last Holy Week. Whatever you've got going on with school, whatever you've got going on with work, whatever you've got going on in your personal life, come to the Lord's house when the services are offered at your church. Soak in that gospel. Hear the forgiveness of sins. Fellowship with your neighbor. Eat and drink the body and blood of Jesus like it could be taken away from you because it could. Don't be the children of Israel who get rescued from bondage to Pharaoh only to grumble in the wilderness like they weren't saved. You've been saved. You've been brought out of your sin and death. You've been purchased in one, not with gold or silver, but with the holy precious blood of the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of the world. You survived all of last year, and now the Lord has brought you to Holy Week again starting on Sunday. Treasure it. Treasure his words. Wear their services at God's house. I pray that you'll attend. Don't let the prayers and the promises you made last year to God about how you wouldn't let a holy week pass. Pass forgotten. Because God hasn't forgotten those promises. And deep down inside you haven't either. Come to receive comfort and peace. Come to receive the body and blood of Jesus. Come not because you have to or because I've lawed you into it or guilted you into it. Because you are one for whom Christ died. He did this week for you. Think about it. A blessed Palm Sunday to you this weekend as Holy Week begins. I'm Pastor George Borkar, and this has been another Higher Things video short.